Singhwani from Bhaskar Institute of Mass Communication and Journalism, Bundelkhan University. I am very glad and honored to have Dr. Kusum Singh, Head of Department of Zoology, Institute of Basic Science. Today, we are going to discuss about the admission queries which comes from the students who want to get admitted in the Department of Zoology. Firstly, a very warm welcome to you ma'am. We would like to know about your journey from a student to what you have became today. Thank you Shweta. First of all, I would like to thank Multimedia Lab and the people who are working and are doing a very marvelous job. I am Dr. Kusum Singh. I am working here since 2003 as an assistant professor. I have done my schooling from Kendriya Vidyalaya, Gwalior. Till 12th, I started there and I was having science stream with maths as well as biology as a main subject. After that, I did my graduation from the Jivaji University and during my graduation, I started zoology, botany and chemistry. Further, I pursued MSc in zoology from Jivaji University itself. In my post-graduation program, I secured second position in the university. After completion of my MSc in zoology, I have done MPhil in zoology and I worked on the short term toxicity of Ferula jeskinia, which is commonly known as Hing, on albino rats to identify its anti fertility property. After completion of my MPhil degree in 1988, I got registered myself for the PhD degree. In PhD program, I worked on neem oil and I identified various active components which are found in the neem oil and their toxicological effect in the albino reds. The reason behind is that in today's scenario, most of the people, they go for herbal medicines, but they are not aware about the toxicity of these herbal medicines. After completion of my PhD in 1992 from Jivaji University, Gwalior, I did three years post-doctoral program in which I further continued my research work. After completion of my post-doc work, I joined DAV Society and taught for about six years in Gurgava. After that, in 2003, in Bundelkhand University, I joined as a assistant professor in the department of zoology and till today I am doing my uh, teaching along with the research, research work also. I have guided about uh, more than two dozens of students for their MPhil program and six PhD degrees were also awarded under my guidance. Uh, during this tenure from 2009 to 2012, I have completed one major project funded by University Grant Commission on the effect of Solenum nigrum, which is no, commonly known as Makoe, uh, on the liver toxicity. Actually, this Solenum nigrum is a very common plant which is found in the Bundelkhand region. So, my work is mainly focused on the various herbal medicines or the various medicinal plants which are present in and around of the Bundelkhand University. Ma'am, now we would like to know about what you have found attractive in the field of zoology that you have chosen this. Since from my childhood, I am always very uh, affectionate with the animals. Usually as the other children also does, I used to uh, collect butterflies. After that, I got in uh, curiosity that how the life has occurred how the parents they resemble uh, their children and a number of things related to our body. Actually, I was very much interested in biology uh, and especially in the animal sciences. So, that is why I have chosen this field uh, so that I can study about the various developmental processes, various physiological processes which occurs in our body and what is the mystery behind this. Actually, when we are quite uh, young at that time it seems very mysterious that how this has happened. So, I just want to study all those things and that is why I have chosen the zoology. My next question to you ma'am is what are the courses offered in the department of zoology and what is the admission process? Well, 
uh, we are offering three courses in our department. The one is the UG course that is BSc Biology in which uh, the students they study zoology, botany and chemistry. It is a three year program and for that uh, the admission is on the basis of merit uh, of class 12th marks. Uh, normally we call the applications and then we prepare a merit list and according to the merit position we admit the students. We are having about 240 seats or you can say we have three sections uh, for this uh, biology group. After that, uh, the second program we are, uh, we are offering is the PG program that is MSc Zoology, which is of two years. And uh, in MSc, we, uh, the minimum qualification is that the student should have qualified BSc examination with the minimum 45 percent of marks with Zoology as a main subject. In uh, MSc Zoology, we offer three specializations. The one is the endocrinology in which we taught them about the various endocrine glands. It is a very interesting subject and it is a very new subject also. As most of us uh, are aware that we are suffering from certain ailments like diabetes, thyroid disorders, weight gain. Uh, in the females, there are certain problems related to their menstrual cycle and all. So, how they occur? So, this is uh, in the endocrinology and in which we taught them reproductive biology and uh, the various types of various glands, how they function, what is the mechanism of action which occurs in them. Then the second specialized program is the fish and fisheries. It is a very common program which is almost present in each and every university in which the students they study various uh, fresh water and the marine fishes, then the aquatic, um, other aquatic animals also. Again in this program, we taught them four special papers, uh, two in the third semester and two in the fourth semester. And the third specialization we provide is the applied zoology uh, in which we uh, taught them about the medical zoology, the various disease causing organisms, uh, the various types of insects, useful insects, harmful insects. So uh, that is the third specialization. Earlier we were also uh, providing um, specialization in the cell biology and environmental biology, but uh, now we have stopped these two uh, programs. The third program offered by the department is the PhD program that is the uh, doctorate uh, degree which in the zoology and uh, in this uh, PhD program the student has to give an entrance exam. Uh, if he or she uh, qualifies the entrance exam then uh, he or she will go undergo for a six month program that is uh, for, the, for the first six months he has to um, study this with different courses and he has to pass uh, two papers during that program and if, if he qualifies that then he will go he will be registered for the uh, PhD program. If a student has cleared net or the slate exam or gate exam or if he or, he or she is the topper of the university and he is getting inspire fellowship then that student is exempted from the entrance exam and he will directly come to the counseling program where he will be his counseling will be done and then he will go for the um, he will continue his program. After completion of the theory papers after passing the uh, desired papers the student will start with the experimentation work uh, since ours is the work on the animals so we have to work in the laboratory and for that at least 180 days of attendance is required uh, as per UGC norms. And we are providing this PhD degree as per UGC norms only. So after that, he will submit his the thesis uh, in five copies. They will be evaluated and then an, an open viva is taken for the student and then he will be awarded the doctorate degree for that. Moving forward to the next question, ma'am, what are the future opportunities for the students who complete their studies from your department? Uh, well, there are a number of opportunities. The first and very uh, most uh, of the students which opt this is the teaching. Uh, like if you have uh, completed your UG or PG in zoology, then you may go for the school level teaching, you may go for the higher education teaching. If you want to go for higher education teaching, then 
नेट क्वालिफिकेशन नेशनल एलिजिबिलिटी टेस्ट दिस इज नेशनल टेस्ट व्हिच इज ऑर्गेनाइज्ड बाय यूजीसी एंड सीएसआईआर सो ही और शी हैज टू क्वालिफाई दैट प्रोग्राम एंड ही विल गो फॉर द हायर एजुकेशन आफ्टर दिस टीचिंग लाइन द सेकंड ऑप्शन इज द रिसर्च आर एंड डी दिस इज आल्सो अ वेरी फैसिनेटिंग जॉब वेरी फैसिनेटिंग एरिया द स्टूडेंट्स दे परस्यू दिस and for performing this rnd they can go for various csir labs dst labs uh, dbt labs and even various national laboratories in the drdo also defense research development establishment there also they can go for that as a young scientist and they can work in the field of uh, research and area uh, beside this in the research and development area they can go to the pharmacy um, industry also they are also they can opt for research and development program uh, the students who have done msc zoology uh, they go for the forest services also various uh, our students are working as a forest ranger or forest officer in the various other states uh, after that the students they may go for uh, this um, competitive exam uh, teaching also Uh, recently one of our students in this uh, hr meet only has uh, has been selected by 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 akash academy uh, for teaching biology to the uh, uh, neat aspirants uh, after that the students they uh, they may uh, work uh, from the, at their own also by teaching the tuitions and uh, by guiding the students who are working for various competitions and any competitive exam they can give by taking zoology as a main subject most of our students are involved in the higher education a number about 80% of our students are engaged in teaching profession either in the intermediate colleges or in the graduate colleges or at the university level some of the our students are working with the forest department also uh, some are working with the pharmacy department also uh, and the others are uh, working in the field of research and development a number of students have gone for post doctoral program abroad also so in this way they can they have got a large number of choices where they can go after doing their msc uh, msc zoology ma'am my last question to you is many students prepare for neat exams and many competitive exams what guidance you want to give them well i would like to say that whatever you study it should be a quality study whenever you uh, study focus yourself totally focus yourself on the subject try to understand the subject try to understand the various physiological processes and uh, after that prepare notes revive your work whatever you do uh, there is a cycle for the revision that you have started it today then you uh, revise it on the next day then again you revise it for after one week then after 15 days and in this way during the examination time you will be not afraid of examination so whenever you study be very concentrate and for making concentration you should meditate uh, and if uh, if you are not able to concentrate then just go out for 5 to 10 minutes just enjoy whatever you want to do like you if you Uh, listen music you listen music and after that with the full concentration if you study hard and if you study thoroughly then of course you will go through the examination so at last i would like to thank you ma'am for giving your precious time and i hope all the queries of students have been answered thank you thank you thank you very much 